MovieWeb.com. You, in, in this film, of all these great actors playing Dylan, are playing really the only defined antagonist role, if there is That's such right, a yeah. thing in this yeah. movie, right? Yeah. And uh, quite well, too, if I'm not, I'm not just saying that. When you look at that, right, and you're kind of standing for, in my opinion, the system or quote unquote mm -hmm. the man, whatever it was back in the day, mm -hmm. is that what you used to say, well, I'm going to just portray the side that doesn't understand Dylan, or was it like a different direction that Todd put you in? It's a life? little bit more than that. I mean, it's easy to see it at, in, at first blush as, as the guy who represents the establishment who's threatened by Dylan and who's unwilling to, to, to give real, to give any real thought to the substance of Dylan's arguments, but, but beyond that, it's also a guy who feels that Dylan is saying things of value, and so I'm entitled to ask him sophisticated questions about his motivation. And when he refuses to answer me in anything but an oblique kind of dismissive way, rather than than me finding another way to ask that question and getting the answer, he responds emotionally. I respond emotionally, and 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 Dylan gets what he wants and I get thwarted so so it you know it works on me emotionally so eventually I decided to go behind his back and pry a little deeper which proves to be the undoing for both of us to some degree uh, in this film you're portrayed as this English journalist mm -hmm. and as Pat Garrett at that age right. with an older ability kid which is very strange in its own right describe that abstraction did you feel like you were doing two short movies or two separate films yeah, except that although it felt like you're doing two separate films because one's a Western and one's a Fellini thing, um, they're linked by the common thread is that both these characters want to unmask somebody. With Gear, it's literal. And with, with Kate playing Dylan, which was a whole other smoke, it was, it was more metaphorical than, than literal. But it's wanting to get behind the artifice and insisting on my part that for my part that Kate's Kate's creation of these characters, Bob's creation of these characters is disingenuous. It's cynical. It's it's based on profit. It's based on changing just because you want to give the the audience something new when in fact he was just following his muse. All right, now I know you've probably been besieged by Star Trek questions all day, but my editor will they're kill be, They're becoming <laughs> thick and fast now. Well, will kill me at gunpoint if I don't ask you this, right? Because we're big Trek fans, obviously. What can you tell us that's not out in the lexicon about what this new movie is going to be like that you know and can tell us? <laughs> I'll take Are that as nothing. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I figured would no, be the reaction. I can't. Reaction, I yes. can't. You know. What? But I. But I assume that as you're getting beaten up day and night about this, right? All I can tell you is that I know more now <laughs> than you'll know for a year. It's true. And I can't tell you any of it. I can't tell you how I feel about it. I can't tell you what it involves. I can't tell you what characters are new. I can't tell you who lives or dies, of course. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but, you know, it would totally be... Totally understand. I don't want to spoil it for you. <laughs>